I think the question that you have to ask yourself is, do you want Matt Canada back as offensive coordinator next season? Now, I do think that this team was better on the back half of the season. Najee Harris was definitely better, and the offensive line was better too because this team could run the ball in the back half of the season. You mentioned Jalen Warren. That was one of the big question marks I had going into this season was who can be the Robin to Najee's Batman. That void seems to be filled. But when I see that this team struggles to score points consistently, Ike, and I look at a few stats, and I can point to many of them, but the Steelers' defense led the league in interceptions this season, meaning you're flipping the field, you're putting your offense in a good position to score, and you're still struggling to score points from an offensive standpoint. That's a problem. Red zone efficiency, that's a problem. Deontay Johnson not scoring a touchdown this season, and they flashed the stat during the game of most receptions in a season – Uh, uh, with the receiver not getting into the paint, not scoring, that's an issue. Also, whoever the offensive coordinator is next season, Nike, you've got to get George Pickens 10 touches or targets every single game minimum. Because I listen to you each week saying how special he is, even as a rookie. And I listen to former player Rodney Harrison, a Hall of Fame player, comparing George Pickens to Randy Moss. And I'm not saying George Pickens is Randy Moss, but I'm listening to people who have been in and around the league for decades with decades of experience talking about how special he is. The offense has to get better next season. That's not all on the offensive coordinator. For me, probably the biggest need in the draft, at least in my opinion, this is just my two cents worth, is the offensive line. But that's the question that you're going to have to ask is, you know, which guys do you want to retain are coming back? Which personnel are coming back? which coaching staff you want to come back. But here's the thing, too. If you want to replace Matt Canada as your offensive coordinator, Ike, because this is what a lot of fans are talking about, this is where Mike Tomlin's a defensive coach. And if you have success with an offensive coordinator, say in year two or three with Kenny Pickett, another team is going to want to poach that offensive coordinator. So it's finding that balance. And it's also you need to develop continuity with a young quarterback because we've seen a lot of quarterbacks ruined, Ike, when you try to rip the Band-Aid off and you're trying to rip the Band-Aid off when you're putting a Band-Aid back on to cover a flesh wound. And what I mean by that is if you just say, let's bring in a new offensive coordinator and then it doesn't work again next year and then let's bring another offensive coordinator and it doesn't work the following year, you need to develop that offensive continuity as Kenny Pickett develops and grows as a young quarterback in this league. Yes, I was was hard on on Matt Canada. Matt Canada... um, Worked his way back in. Why would you let him go? Um, Matt Canada wound up creating points, wound up getting George Pickens the ball. So why would you let, let Matt Canada go? Matt Canada wound up finding a way with Fairmouth as a tight end. So why would you let Matt Canada go? Matt Canada just found ways to win. Um, when it was time for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the offense, offense to score, Matt Canada found a way. Um, when you want to talk about the rotation between Najee and Warren at the running back, Matt Canada found the way. When you want to talk about just believing in your offensive line because they didn't start good at the beginning of the season, but they finished well, Matt Canada found the way. When you want to talk about, okay, do y'all see the success as a rookie quarterback in Kenny Pickett from my play calling from the beginning to the end, Matt Canada found the way. So, yeah, I think Matt Canada gave himself a life a lifeline. We will see what happens in the offseason, but the way the Pittsburgh still is – um, offense finished throughout that season, Mark, that was pretty damn good. And just to, to go through everything Matt Canada had to go through, having a Hall of Fame quarterback really as, isn't athletic toward the back end of his career, not able to move his mobility, to having a guy with some mobility, um, a young quarterback, a young quarterback who played four years in college. And I think that helped out a lot of Kenny Pickett, a young quarterback who knows that that Akershore, Hines Field, now Akershore Stadium. Uh, so it, it was home for him. And I think Matt Canada finally settled himself down and understanding what he needed to do and understand and understanding that he needed to get the ball to certain people at certain times in the game. I saw I saw George Pickens go from the outside to the slot receiver. So that showed me right there, Matt Canada is finding a way. Um, I saw some of them jet sweeps turned into uh, jet sweeps double reverses. Matt Canada found the way. Um, I don't know if he talked to Najee, but Najee, stick your foot in the ground. You're 235 pounds plus. Let's get these two and three yards. Matt Canada found the way. So, yeah, I was hard on Matt Canada. Mentally, I was hard on him. But just seeing how the growth and development, not only with Kenny Pick, but just that whole offense, they put up 28 points yesterday against the Cleveland Browns team who really wanted to knock the Pittsburgh Steelers out of playoff mm-hmm. contention. They didn't, but the Jets helped that, of course. But 
yeah, you you just got to sit back and think. Um, do I keep? Do I do I want to keep getting Kenny Pickett offensive coordinator after after offensive coordinator after offensive coordinator? No. Do I like the growth and development of Kenny Pickett from the first to the second half? Yes. And you got to tip your hat off to Matt Canada on that point. I I um few things here. Seven game mm-hmm. stretch where the Steelers go six and one on the back half of the season. They mm-hmm. didn't allow more than 20 points in any of those games. So I credit the defense for that. Fewest touchdown passes in the league as well. So again, like there's improvement. Is it enough to save his job? But then I always also say this too, like up front. The one thing I'd say about the Steelers line is that they played all 17 games together. And I do think that they got better throughout the duration of the season. But I don't think that they had elite talent. And I'm talking about nasty players, Ike. I'm talking about, and we talked about this a few shows ago, Pouncey up front, David DeCastro up front, all pro players, dudes that can maul people and are nasty at the line of scrimmage. That's what I'm talking about. So when I point to those stats, you can also point to Chris Boswell had his worst season since 2018. I think injuries is part of that. But that's another reality to where you're not putting up as much points because he wasn't as reliable this season. But the sum doesn't equal its parts. And if you found the right offensive coordinator, my point is this, I I guess it's like I'm kind of talking in circles here. If you're going to hire a new offensive coordinator to replace Matt Canada, you can't miss. And you need to have that offensive coordinator to be here for the next five to 10 years of Kenny Pickett's career. Because I don't want to bring in a new offensive coordinator, Ike, and have this very same conversation with you a year from now. The only OC I see um, that you can bring in is his former offensive coordinator in college. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. And, he, and he, was our, he was our quarterback coach when I played with Pittsburgh for a couple of years. That's the only real thing I can see. So you got, you got a guy with um, familiarity, with Kenny Pickett, you got a guy who knows the city, understands the city. Both was an OC in college for Kenny Pickett. Both was an OC, being a quarterback's coach in the NFL. So, yeah, that's the only thing I can really see when it comes down to bringing somebody else in for Kenny Pickett as far as, like, offense coordinator. Other than that, I would just roll with Matt Canada. Um, Interesting, I, Ike. I don't think you'll be in the majority of that, of just people – Listen, I know Twitter's not always the greatest place to look, but I don't think you'd be in the majority in terms of how Steelers fans feel about this. But I, uh, Mark Whipple is the coach that yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, it's Coach Mark Whipple um, who coached and developed Kenny Pickett. I'm sure he asked Kenny Pickett to stay a year, and that year did help when it come down to being four years in college. But Coach Mark, I think, would be a perfect fit um, not only for Kenny picking an offense, but just he just knows the city and understands exactly what that city wants, um, that organization wants, because he did coach with that organization. Um, just just the traditional, tradition wise, uh, you got to be different to to to, to be an OC in Pittsburgh. I think Coach Ty Haley said that uh, last year. Uh, I mean, with Bruce Arians, Ty Haley, uh, Wizard Hunt, Coach Mark Whipple. Uh, you got to be tough-minded. You damn near got to have a defensive mentality from an offensive quarter, coordinator standpoint, just dealing with the people in the city of Pittsburgh because all they pretty much know is success, 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 success. And who's going to take the blame? It's usually going to be the offensive coordinator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how good they did. I remember Big Ben threw for 5,000 yards um, at, at, at one point in time. And who was the who was the – person we blame it was the OC I remember Ken Wizard Hunt had a good running game going wind up going to the Super Bowl <laughs> who, who, who was the downfall it was Ken Wizard Hunt Ty Haley probably had Pittsburgh at their best when you want to talk about a balanced offense who was gonna blame it was it was Ty Haley so it's just being an offensive coordinator in that city is tough it's hard and you got to have that mentality for it and I think Matt Canada throughout all the talk, what they've been saying on Matt Canada throughout all what the players have been saying, the opposing defenses, what they've been saying about the Pittsburgh offense, same play, same play, same play. He just figured it out. He kept his cool. He didn't budge. He didn't waver. He didn't care. He said, man, I'm going to stick to this offense. I grow through the season. And you just saw that with the growth and development. Again, not only with the offense, but with Kenny Pickett. And I'm not trying And I'm not trying to be a, a fan favorite or a Twitter favorite. 
Mark, I'm just going off of what I see and what I think mm. will help Pittsburgh still grow and develop and be more exciting if they don't keep Matt Canada. Yeah, I, can I just look across the league? And I'm not saying Kenny Pickett is any of these players, but whether uh-huh. it's a Mitch Trubisky during his tenure in Chicago, whether it's Baker Mayfield, I could go to a lot of quarterbacks that have had some success early on and then have also struggled early on. And I, we've talked about this in years past where we say, okay, well, why is a young quarterback struggling? The first question you should ask is, who are his coaches? That's the first question that you should ask. And a lot of times, and, and I'm encouraging our listeners and our viewers to think smarter about this. Who are his coaches to help him develop and develop and put a player in a position to succeed? That's a coach's job and responsibility. Now, I think that the Steelers were limited in what they could do given the talent that they have and that they're a very young team offensively too. And I said this at the start of the season, and I would say that this did happen. We're at the start of the year, the offense compared to the end of the year. I don't know if it was night and day, but I did see improvement. 